The CZ-75 is a short coil operated lock breech pistol in 9mm parabellum with a double stack magazine. CZ was founded in 1918 by members of the Austro-Hungarian military and was referred to as the State Armament and Engineering Work of Brno because it was located in Brno, Czechoslovakia. In 1948, due to a communist coup, CZ became a nationalized communist manufacturer of weapons. Out of all this comes the CZ-75, one of the finest handguns ever made. Carried by military and police officers all over the country and also used in many pistol shooting competitions. And often carried by citizens as one of the greatest pistols ever manufactured. So this video is going to take a look at the top 10 things you probably did not know about the CZ-75. Number 1. Invented by Joseph and Francisca Koki were gun designing brothers for CZUB and they designed post-World War II guns and were some of the most influential gun designers in the Cold War. These two brothers ultimately invented the CZ-75, but for the most part, every gun that they built had to be approved by the Russian authority and they were given very limited freedom on their gun designs. More so because of the secret of nature of what they did, they always signed everything with a surname, they never used their actual name, that way you didn't know which brother was working on which parts of which guns. Number two, after over 20 years of designing guns for the Russian authority, they were asked to design a 9mm parabellum double stack magazine gun that ultimately became the CZ-75. Now what is significant about this gun is they were given total freedom to do whatever they wanted on this gun. The CZ-75 was the very first gun designed by the Koki brothers that ultimately was their freedom to do what they always dreamed of doing. More so, this gun was not being created for the Eastern world. It was designed specifically to export into the Western world. At no point during the Cold War did anybody on the east side of the Iron Curtain carry a CZ-75. Primarily because the guns they used fired the 9mm Makarov or the 7.62 by 25. Number three, the CZ-75 designers both the Kokis and the CZUB company were not allowed to hold international patents. Instead, what they held were secret patents of east of the Iron Curtain. And this is why so many other manufacturers clone the CZ-75, because there never was an international patent on this gun. Number four, after the fall of the Iron Curtain in 1989, there was a nonviolent transfer of power from one party's communist rule led by several protesters throughout Czechoslovakia, referred to as the Velvet Revolution. It was a very nonviolent protest that essentially transferred power from communist one-party rule uh, to multi-party rule. The reason this is significant is because it was immediately following the Velvet Revolution that Czechoslovakian police and military carried the CZ-75 for the very first time after 1989. Number five, due to failed attempts to secure world patents and heavy taxation on Czechoslovakian products, by the USA, the very first CZ-75 to be sold in the USA was actually hidden under the name of Fratelli Tangfolios. So the Tangfolio was really the very first CZ-75 to be sold in the United States. Number six, because of all the problems with patents, there are 20 gun manufacturers from 13 different countries making CZ-75 clones. Number seven, because of that, there are 22 countries using CZ-75 as duty weapons both police and military. Number eight, in 2002, the perpetrator of the Monash University shooting in Australia used a CZ-75 to kill two students and wound five others. Now the reason this is significant is because it was exactly that event that made the state of Victoria greatly increase gun restrictions and instituted strict gun laws. It was immediately following that that the entire country of Australia instituted very, very strict gun laws and restrictions. And right now, Australia is receiving very little gun rights for their citizens, and their crime rate is going up because of these laws that all started with the CZ-75. Number nine, excluding all the CZ-75 clones. So we're talking only the guns made by CZ-USA or CZ-UB. There are over 40 different variations of the CZ-75 made by the CZ Corporation. 
And finally, number 10, my all-time favorite, is there is a CZ75 automatic that is being made that I would love to get a hold of. This is a full auto CZ75 that actually allows you to put one of the magazines and attach it up front to hold it as a foregrip. Love to get that particular variation. So there you go. There's 10 things that you probably didn't know about the CZ75. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us on Facebook under God Family and Guns. But by far the most important part of this YouTube channel is it is a ministry to us and we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love God.